Welcome to my channel. In today's practice, we're focusing on a gentle Pilates mat what will help you to release your neck and shoulder pain. In the first part of the practice, we'll be learning how to breathe properly and also to do some release. Okay. And the second part of the practice, we will choose two or three core strengthening exercises that will help you to strengthen your core without tensing your neck and shoulders. So if you're ready, so please prepare a yoga mat or pilates mat that's at least 8 mm in thickness and today we will need a prop okay just a towel like this and if you have a yoga block okay this is optional you don't need to have this but if you have just keep it beside you so if you are ready let's begin right now we'll start by lying down but before you lie down so for those of you who have any uh, neck strain or head forward posture please fold your towel like this okay and we can actually cushion our head and release the tension in our neck okay so from here slowly lie down so you're gonna place the towel okay somewhere in the back of your eyes make sure you feel aligned and supported and for the start we're just going to do breathing so relax your hips relax your buttocks knees bent palms facing up just keep the head neck and the whole entire spine aligned okay when you're ready try to relax your shoulder blades and relax your facial muscles just gonna guide you in a few deep breath so allow the spine to relax comfortably and naturally just feel the natural curves of the spine and from here we're just going to inhale through our nose and exhale from our mouth inhale through our nose and exhale from our mouth okay so for those who are new you can place one hand on your abdomen and the other hand on your chest so we want to practice diaphragmatic breathing so as we inhale you can feel the abdomen rising and exhale abdomen sinking and as we inhale you can also feel okay the inhalation going to the side and back of your ribcage and as we exhale abdomen sinking and also the waist coming closer to your spine so at your own pace three more deep breath inhaling deeply into the side and back of your ribcage and as we exhale gently draw the waist closer to the spine no tension inhale feel the abdomen rising and exhale abdomen sinking waist closer to the spine two more deep breath on your own allow yourself to relax your mind this time okay so continue to bring the mind back to the body mind back to the breath practicing mindfully okay good and then from here we slowly okay release the hands okay and from here just gently roll the head sideways release any tension in the neck or shoulders okay so from here let's start with the shoulders okay so if you still need the support okay um, of the towel okay to cushion you can keep it there okay for those of you who are uh, comfortable you can just release the towel or you can grab another towel a second towel so from here we're going to just uh, fold the towel this way make it longer and we're gonna hold on to the end of the towel and relax first okay again feel the spine so from here we're gonna reach the towel up okay so keeping your wrist somewhere over your shoulders and just feel the shoulder blades your scapula so make sure you're not squeezing you're relaxing your rib cage and you feel the shoulder blades relax and from here okay so if you're comfortable we're going to inhale reach the towel up exhale release one more time inhale reaching the towel up towards the ceiling exhale release last time inhale reaching up 
and exhale release okay and then slowly release the towel here just place it here okay on your pelvis and then from here we're gonna slowly just opening up your right arm lowering down but not dropping down inhale reaching up exhale left hand down and reaching up okay good so at all times you keep the shoulders away from the ears so inhale here as you exhale you can move one arm over your head and opposite arm lowering down and feel the stretch aware okay so you don't need to have the hands touching the floor okay just wherever you feel comfortable shoulders away from the ears so with the breathing inhale here as we exhale moving the arms opposite direction at your own pace go slow inhale center and exhale so we're actually gently stabilizing the shoulder blades inhale and exhale so relaxing the neck and shoulders and inhale here last time and exhale opposite direction okay good and slowly come back to center and release so i just want to have this awareness so if you have the yoga block can place it okay on your pelvis okay and also on your rib cage okay so the whole idea of this is to feel that you are not moving your spine sometimes when you're practicing your own you're not you're not sure so having a little yeah weight here very yeah and also a block like that okay that's lightweight will help you to increase your awareness so for example when you are doing this practice so when you bring your arms over most people will tend to arch your back okay because there's tightness on the back so you want to just go to the maximum so maybe this is your maximum okay or some people might even tilt their tailbone and squeezing the buttock Okay, so we want to maintain neutral spine alignment. So the whole idea here is to elongate the spine while we work on our scapula, okay, strengthening our shoulder blades. Okay, this will help to release your neck and shoulder pain. Okay, so just have this awareness of a tray or a yoga block. Okay, so from here, let's go into spine articulation. Okay, so we're going to do a bit more release. Now, we're going to have the knees... Uh, hip distance apart again if you have the yoga block you can use it if you don't have that spine also just have the awareness not to move the knees inwards so palms beside your hips okay so keep your feet grounded on the mat lengthen your spine shoulders away so inhale here as we exhale we're going to round the low back okay so we are stretching the low back and then from here we slowly peel the spine off all the way up to your shoulder blades okay don't arch your back knees to your shoulders one straight line inhale exhale slowly release down one vertebrae at a time release the lower back release the buttock and back to neutral one more time inhale lengthen your spine exhale rounding a low back and slowly peel the spine off the mat all the way up to your shoulder blades without arching your back inhale exhale slowly release like a string of pearl one pearl at a time stretching a low back and remember lastly relax your buttock relax your hip flexor so we go back to neutral pelvic placement okay one last time inhale exhale rounding a low back slowly peel the spine off coming to this position here reaching your fingertips to the end of the mat inhale exhale slowly release down one vertebrae at a time releasing the lower back release the buttock and then relax the hip flexor and come back to neutral okay good and then from here we release okay and then just gently bring the knees towards the chest okay relax and breathe deeply into your lower back okay gently roll the head sideways release any tension okay good and then from here we can just rock the pelvis clockwise anti-clockwise to massage your back so sometimes the neck and shoulder pain okay, could be caused by the tension in the hips and the lower back too okay good and then from here slowly lower one foot down lower the other foot down I'm just going to do a spinal rotation before we come up to another position so from here we're going to move the feet slightly further away and then the arms okay we're going to have, make it a big v like that not too high okay just like that so you don't feel any tension and inhale here as we exhale you can rock the buttocks to the right side 
So releasing your knees and you should feel a good stretch in the side of the body. And only if you're comfortable, gently turn to the opposite side. Okay, spinal rotation, gentle, and breathe deeply into the side of the body. So the more relaxed your legs are, your hips are, deeper the stretch. Breathing, breathing. Inhale back to center. And exhale to the other side. So the first part of this practice, we are doing release. Okay, you can slowly look to the other side. Okay, you can always stay here longer. <laughs> and relax your neck and shoulders, breathing. So many times uh, people are pretty tense, so even though they are in this position, they need some time to completely relax. So if you need to, you have pause the video and just relax here a little bit longer. Okay, so always pay attention to your breath, breathing. So as you exhale, the body will naturally go into a more relaxed state. Okay, good and slowly come back to center and this time we're going to bring the feet closer and we're going to roll to the side and then slowly come up to a sitting position so from here okay we're going to do some stretches okay in this position here let's come to a seated position so i would suggest that you sit on a firm cushion okay or yoga block so that we can really keep our spine okay straight and release any tension in the hips or lower back okay in this position so from here okay we're just going to keep the towel okay beside us and from here we're going to just bring our right arm up so we're just going to make a curve like that okay we don't need to straighten so we release any tension neck and shoulders so aware of your sitting posture so your head over shoulders shoulders over your hips and try to look forward and not look down and from here inhale as you exhale just stretching to the side so feel that you are lifting okay up instead of just dropping downwards okay so the pelvic floor up lengthen sit bone down and slowly stretch how deep not important so the focus here is more to really open the side of the body and relax the shoulders don't drop the head down, okay, lengthen through the crown, breathe into the side of the body and then come up, inhale and exhale to the other side. So make a rainbow arc with the arm and slowly. So feel the stretch here, okay, so you sh should feel the release on your waist and your hips and then slowly kind of lifting up the body before you slowly move to the side, though you do not do a sudden drop, okay, of the head. So you can feel the spine lengthening, lateral flexion. Okay, through the crown, breathing, breathing. So we keep the uh, elbow bent so that we don't strain. So most people, once they straighten the elbows, there'll be all this squishing around the neck and shoulders. Okay, release. So you can feel the space here. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale. Okay, good. And from here, let's bring the towel out like that. Okay, so you're going to hold on to the towel. All right, so if you feel comfortable, it can be around shoulder width apart. If not, just hold on to the ends of the towel. So most important right now is to sit tall. Okay, so your chin parallel to the floor and slowly reach the towel forward and slowly up. So some people might just be here and they can feel some discomfort. Okay, so stay here. Okay, but if you can, you're going to move it over your head. Don't force, don't arch your back. Keep the spine neutral like you are sitting against the wall and you can do that okay if you find that you are rounding your back a lot stay there looking far breathing 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 and slowly release down okay so this time we're going to have the towel here okay over the head okay for those of you who are really tight okay, neck and shoulders and see whether you can just keep the elbows bent this way first Okay, and just a little pull okay, on the towel so you can engage your shoulder blades and then slowly move the towel up okay, but still keeping it relaxed so you're not tensing so some might just be here and even some of you might even need a longer towel like you can use a normal longer towel okay, bath towel instead of a sports towel and for those who are comfortable you can reach up 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 but shoulders go down, down, down. So the opposing okay, direction will help you to engage your, your scapular. Stay here, inhale, and exhale, slowly release down. Okay, just touching the, the crown like that, breathing, and release. 
Okay, so we're going to do a release here. So touching your shoulders and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Reverse and inhale and exhale. And inhale, gentle. Okay, it's a small circle and relax. You can also shake out the hands. Okay, and then from here, we're just going to slowly turn the head to the right side. Stay here, breathing, relax the left shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale to the opposite side, releasing any tension. And coming back to center, and from here, be careful, okay, very gentle. You can slowly reach the chin forward first, and then gaze up. The whole idea is to reach the face up and not drop the head back. So keep reaching the face up, okay, gazing up towards how high, not important, as long as you don't feel the strain. Okay, so if this is your maximum, then stay here. Only those of you are comfortable, yes, you can go a little bit higher and then come back down. Okay, and then chin down. And again, you see it's slow movement, so you feel the articulation and not just do a sudden drop or up this way. And that's when we strain our neck. Okay, all right. So another way also you can place okay, the towel okay, at the back to support a little bit. And then just at the bottom okay, yeah, of the, the skull and then slowly you can kind of feel that lifting up. Okay, then back the neck lengthening as you gaze up and a bit of support here. And then slowly come back. Okay, and then slowly release. All right, so from here, let's do spinal rotation in this sitting position. So one more time, you're gonna reach your arms forward and up. So again, you can keep to this position here, okay, or you can just stay here like that, okay, keeping the elbows bent if you have difficulty straightening the arms. What you want to avoid is to straighten your arms and squeeze the shoulders. This is what we want to avoid. Okay, so you have all the options and so I'm going to do the modified version first like that and inhale here as I exhale, I'm going to turn towards the right side. Okay, so I'm pulling the towel away to maintain a good alignment. So as I exhale, I twist, gentle twist, inhale back to center, other side, exhale, 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 slowly reaching up slightly and then coming back down lengthening and bring it back down okay and from here okay we're just going to roll the shoulders back and forward okay one more time so from here reaching the tower forward and up so you can choose to be in this position or you can keep it here so for this version okay i'm gonna have yeah the hands up here so shoulder blades down draw the belly in towards the spine inhale and i twist exhale 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 back to center other side exhale feeling the rotation as i'm sitting here cross leg k okay, i'm able to stabilize my pelvis and coming back to center, inhale and exhale, joining the rest in this position and slowly release and relax. Okay, let's do a counter stretch here. So you're gonna bring the towel back. Okay, towel back. So for this one, I'm gonna just show you from the side so that you can see clearly and can sit in the same position. So in this position here, I will have the towel, okay, like that. And from here, those of you who feel more comfortable to open up the chest a bit more without arching okay you can hold on to the towel a little bit tighter okay so from here we sit very tall that's the first goal sitting very tall inhale and exhale so inhale again so as we exhale just think about reaching the towel slightly back opening up the chest breathing breathing feeling taller 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 Okay, so it's not about no pain, no gain at this point. You want to relax, okay, and not strain. You rather relax and then you can repeat a second or third time if you want to. So let's do one more time. Inhale here. Exhale, reaching the towel back. Feel like someone is pulling your hand. And take another deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Slowly release. Okay, and relax. So we're just going to stretch our hamstring and our back, okay, so we can release any tension, okay, on the lower back that's uh, causing, okay, the strain in the neck and shoulders. So sitting tall, 
okay and from here we can hold on to the towel okay so you flex so we're going to keep uh, our hips elevated but you can also choose to sit on the mat if your hamstring is not too tight okay so from here inhale here as we exhale not the head and not dropping down slowly flex forward and then just reaching so just a tiny yeah tiny tiny little pull okay just to have feel the engagement of the shoulders but not straining and stay here breathing okay so aware the head is not dropping down okay you're lengthening only if you're comfortable maybe a little further and breathe so focus on breathing into the meat and lower back and the back of the thighs okay release if it's really really tight you can also bend your knees okay and yeah you may also feel the stretch with the knees bent okay but if you can yeah you can straighten the legs this way okay two more deep breath here so aware of the shoulders many people will squeeze the shoulders okay so relax the shoulders okay sometimes you need to kind of move the head sideways okay or nodding the head slightly to remind yourself to release the tension one more deep breath inhale and exhale okay slowly come up okay sitting tall okay so sit very tall and then one more time you're gonna let's place the towel over the head okay aware okay so bring awareness to your shoulder blades you're not squeezing so in a neutral okay position and slowly reach the towel up as much as you can even the elbows bend is fine but if you can yeah straighten but shoulders away from your ears and sit as tall as you can looking forward breathing 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 and slowly release and relax okay good and lastly we're going to lie down on the mat let's do some strengthening okay modification so that we do not uh, tense our neck and shoulders while we are strengthening our core muscles so from here let's lie down on the mat in this position gently so for those of you who need an extra towel please place the second towel okay under your head and we start with neutral alignment first okay again we today we will just really want to focus on the shoulder blade stabilization so in this position okay i'm holding on to the towel all right my spine in neutral so from here okay i'm gonna start by bringing one knee up and slowly bring the other knee up make sure my lower back kissing the mat in imprint okay lower back in imprint so no strain no gap okay and knee somewhere over your hips softly point the toes and you're going to reach the towels up but don't uh, yeah don't roll the shoulders forward so relax the shoulder blades and just having the awareness there so let's go into the toe tap single leg toe tap inhale here exhale lower down only if you if you, only if your toe can touch the mat okay if not don't worry make sure you don't arch your back inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down so remember to keep the lower back kissing the mat in imprint and for the towel we are just reaching the towel up without lifting the shoulder blades off okay last three down and up down and up down and up okay stay here and from here we relax the arms for a moment bring the legs together so i'm just going to show you the leg exercise so from here you're going to go into single leg stretch you're going to straighten the left leg so if your back is straining you can have the leg up higher this way okay higher easier and you can you can keep the lower back in imprint okay but if you're comfortable you can also uh, lower down slightly okay so from here we're going to reach the towel up engage your shoulder blades okay draw the belly towards your spine okay lower back in imprint and we go inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale so you lengthen the leg reaching out reaching out reaching out okay and slowly bend the knees and relax the arms okay lower one foot down lower the other foot let's do a stretch first so straighten the knees stretch to the heels and bring the arms up gently over your head wherever you can go and stay here stretching 
stretch through the heels your fingertips stretch 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 okay good and then from here slowly come back to center relax the elbows first all right so we're gonna go into the double leg okay uh, extension okay so in this double leg stretch so this is more challenging because you will feel the weight of your legs so therefore it's a, a deeper activation so draw one knee up draw their knee up but once again i'll give you the modification knees and feet together so from here you're going to stretch out the legs so if this is your maximum you stay here okay and if you can full extension all right so optional everybody's body is different lower back kissing the mat and you're going to reach the arms up again engage your shoulder blades so first option you can go inhale bend the knees exhale reach up if only you're comfortable inhale you can bend your knees and we go a little bit lower okay you can feel the tightening of the lower abs okay inhale and exhale so find the level that you feel comfortable you're not straining your neck and shoulders what you want to avoid is the arching of the low back okay so aware of the upper body this is the focus of today's practice okay so the upper body align and then you can challenge your core by going to all the variations that i'm giving you right now inhale exhale reach inhale knees over the hips exhale extend last one inhale and exhale okay coming back to center and then from here we're going to relax okay and keep okay the palms down okay maybe the palms down this way all right maybe slightly lower and gently rock the buttock sideways a gentle stretch here and also okay spinal rotation with control inhale here and exhale so first feel the rocking keep it not dropping the legs down and inhale here and exhale if you can we're going to coordinate with the head roll we're going to look to the opposite side inhale center and exhale to the opposite side and coming back to center and slowly release one foot down the other foot down stretch out the legs and arms up of your head and relax the legs and shake it out shake it out okay good and then from here we're going to bend the knees and slowly roll to one side and then come up okay so we're going to lie down on the belly for the last part so gently lie down on your belly so from here if you feel more comfortable okay with a yeah, towel like that go ahead okay you can rest the towel you can rest your forehead on a towel okay or make a pillow first and relax the neck and shoulders so just gently rock the buttocks sideways to release any tension and breathe deeply into your lower back and exhale release all the tension one more deep breath into the lower back and exhale okay good and then from here we're going to go into a gentle extension so we're going to keep the hands here like in w shoulders away from your ears keep the spine neutral and we're going to engage your shoulder blades and also feel that there's an ice cube under the belly to not sink the belly into the mat engage so from here lengthening the spine we're going to inhale gently peel the face and chest off if this is what you can manage yeah stay here okay we're not going to look up so if you can you're going to engage the back muscles strengthen the back muscles to just lift the head and chest up a bit higher at a comfortable pace for you stay here breathe if you can you can turn to one side okay and then slowly lower down okay and rest and we stay here breathing and exhale okay coming back up okay lower if you feel more comfortable but we can slightly higher like that but do not look up and from here we're going to slowly turn the head to the opposite side and slowly release down and relax relax the shoulders breathing 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 okay good and then from here we can slowly return to center 
And we're going to place the hands like that, okay? So we're going to feel like someone is pulling your fingertips to the end of the mat. So again, we want to engage the shoulder blades, your scapular, and gentle. So we're going to prepare by lengthening the leg. Feel the ice cube under the belly. So first, inhale, feel, peel the face and chest off, slightly off, and your hands off like that, not too high, just about hip level and stay here. So just reach the fingertips to the end, inhale and exhale. If this is too much for you, please rest and take another deep breath here, breathing, breathing, breathing. Last time only if you're comfortable. So lengthen the arm, shoulders away from your ears, inhale, peel the face, chest off slightly, keeping the neck long, breathing. Okay, good. And slowly release down. Okay, palms down. So we're going to prepare to come out, okay, of this position and go into the shell stretch. So gently push yourself off the mat. So we're going to round the spine into the C curve, okay, stretching, move slightly forward, and then slowly lower the sit bone down and relax so hands beside release the elbows so do not strain the arms like that okay or the shoulders so another option okay if you have your okay yoga block you can place it like that and this is really comfortable okay so you can relax your neck and shoulders completely and you can relax your hips and you can breathe deeply into your meat and lower back Breathing, breathing, breathing. Inhale and exhale slowly coming back up. Okay, and then from here we're gonna sit, okay, on our yoga block or our firm cushion. Okay, come back to this position. We're gonna end the class with another release on the neck and shoulders. So sitting tall like that, again, I would like you to elevate yourself. Okay, many times people sit on the mat. Okay, they feel very tall, but there's still this tension on the lower back and they're forcing themselves to sit tall and there's this strain, okay, on the hips and also probably the neck and shoulders. So by elevating yourself, you're actually helping yourself to continue to release any tension, but keeping the spine really lengthened, okay, in neutral. So from here, let's just have the fingertips touching the shoulders, shoulder joints here like that. And then we're going to make the circle again. Inhale and exhale. Just go wherever you can. Inhale. Okay, if a smaller circle feels more comfortable, go ahead with the smaller circle. More important is your breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Release all the tension. Reverse. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, feel the opening. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, and shake out the hands, releasing all the tension. And then maybe you want to look to the right and look to the opposite side. And coming back to center, relax. I hope you enjoyed today's class. So most of the time, people tend to roll shoulders forward and head forward. And of course, in the modern uh, world, we are always on the phone or on the laptop and head is really heavy. So any tilt can cause further tension. If you're interested to find out more about a Pilates practice that will help you to relieve the neck and shoulder pain, you can click on the link below. So with this, I wish you pain-free days ahead and I hope to see you in the next practice. Until then, have a great day.